Jerry, or should I say Sub Z. He is the owner operator of Prima Phonic Studio. Where else in the world but Honolulu, Hawaii? How good can this man's life be? This is Seymour Better with FreePrescriptionLenses.com. This life ain't too good, but hey, it's better than some. But anyway, call me Mo. Mo Better because I'm happy seeing Mo Better. Look at Mo Better and show everyone else how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. And I'm going to do something really special tonight. I am cutting the Kazal Legends. This is model number 607, the classic in the color 065, which is the crystal all crystal frame of course it comes with well let me get all the accoutrements out you get all the paraphernalia all the work the look book as they call it tells you about the styles the unique looks all the different frames over the years a little something on the original designer Carl Zaloni who passed recently but it's got everything got Spike Lee in his 623's but you're gonna get all of that and of course the Kazal Legends cleaning cloth, which is one of the larger ones. You get that. And of course you get their carrying bag, which doubles as a cleaning cloth as well. You get all the accoutrements and look at this bad boy. This is the Kazal 607, the Kazal Legends, color 65 which is the crystal with the gold plate on the side. It says Kazal on both sides. I'm going to pop out the original demo lenses and cut your Zeiss. No line progressive digital freeform progressive lens with photo fusion gray and DuraVision chrome anti-glare. Let me pop out your original demo lenses of which you will be receiving. Put your frame into the tracing element of my blocker. Let me go ahead and assign a number. To this so that years from now should you ever need new lenses I can send them right to your home let me go ahead and where my paper clip go put this on there and program this shape into the computer your secret agent 2675 and actually one more thing to make this nice special now sub Z is the beat creator for a prima phonic studio in fact you can follow him on instagram prima phonic spelled p-r-i-m-a-p-h-o-n-i-x same thing on twitter and he's gonna let me rock a few beats while i'm doing uh, his lenses oh yeah there we go so he's got lots of work for sale he can do just about anything you need through any format but let me begin i'm a Go ahead and hit the trace button. Little stylus is going to pop up. Go around, trace the inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left. Here at FreePrescriptionLenses.com, where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality. You buy any genuine Kazal Legends frame that I offer, and you will receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number, so if you have vision insurance or unused health savings account flex dollars, you will get reimbursed for this purchase, whether they are prescription or not. So that is the shape that I'll be cutting. I'm going to move on to the next screen. I enter the pupillary distance, which I actually don't have to do anything. It starts at 65, which is divided by 2 is 32.5. I do want to raise the optical center up to 25. I'm going to take the right lens out of the package. It's nice having a little music going in the background, especially when it's going for, going to go on to the face. Right there in them ears. He listens and mixes the beats for you. And this will be on his face when he's doing it. I, hey, it connects me with his listeners. But, um, so, this is a block, or as I like to call it, Jenny from the block. I need to attach two double-sided adhesive stickers, of which I got them here. The black side is the sticky side. I'm going to stick this one on the first block. Do the same thing now for the second one. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. That silver button on the back is a magnet. It's going to line up, do its job twice. The first time it's going to attach itself to another magnet there in the arm. Get everything lined up here. I always like to 
Make sure the lens is large enough and it just is. Hang on now, hang on now. What did I just move? And, okay. Hit that button, the arm's gonna come down, place the block onto the right lens. We're gonna do the same thing now for the lens that ain't right, which I can identify with. Take the left lens out of the packaging, place it on the platform. Same PD, same optical center height. Get everything lined up as such. Make sure the lens is large enough and it is. Hit that button, the arm comes down, places the block onto the left lens. Now the other nice thing about Zeiss, they document everything. You will be receiving the original packaging that's got your prescription on there. So what's unique about your prescription, you are still 20-20 in both eyes, but you need a plus 150 reading power and you're just tired of the on and off with the reading glasses. So he's, this is his first pair of progressive lenses. And I'll put a link in the description below with another video teaching you how to use a progressive for the first time. But again, your prescription, your distance prescription is Plano, which is no power with a 150 ad. So for the right lens, this is the Zeiss photo, Zeiss Progressive Light D Digital Freeform Progressive Lens. The 1.59 is the refractive index of polycarbonate, photofusion gray, Duravision Chrome, and of course it's got the power right there and the strength for the right eye. Same thing for the left. Underline that so you know you're getting the original packaging and then they've got an 8x11 piece of paper. Next time you go to the doctor and they ask what you're wearing, you can hand them this. Same thing, the Zeiss Progressive D, which is the digital freeform progressive lens. It says it's the 159 Photo Fusion Gray, your power again has your PD and actually I changed that when I ordered these I did not not have his PD at the time so I'm gonna change that to 32.5 for each eye and I'm actually cutting it at 25 millimeters high and then I've also got the base curve on there so you know the curvature of the lens being digital it's got the freeform compensation powers for the right and the left as well as the reading and the laser engravings that you'll be getting and i'm going to put on the next track here in a moment but i want to pull up this shape onto the computer again job id number 2675 2675 or as i like to call it installment 2675 of my 330 million volume series of making a pair of glasses for everyone in america so the um these are polycarbonate lenses. If they were plastic, high-index plastic, or Trivex, I would select that. I'm not going to polish the edge of the lens because it's not going to be seen. I'm not going to put a safety bevel on the front convex surface of the lens, but I am going to put one on the rear concave surface of the lens. I'm going to press that on there firmly, place the magnet into the chuck, or as I like to call it, the, the Charles, because I just don't know this machine well enough to call it chuck. Hit the green start button, the door closes. Actually, you know what? Let's go on to the next track. Let's get to the next track. Is it playing? There we go. So, it's going to be, the stylus is going to trace the shape of the right side of the frame, making sure it's large enough. Then measure twice, cut once. It's measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly and precisely where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing, of which you will have none in this frame because you have non-prescription distance power in a thick plastic frame so none of that is going to show so the water in the background is there to catch the optical sawdust as it comes off the cutting wheel polycarbonate lenses cut dry meaning that no water sprays onto them while they're cutting whereas the um, Plastic, high-index plastic, and Trivex cut wet, meaning that water sprays onto the lens while it is cutting. Now, water will spray onto your lenses, but only for the last 20 seconds to wash away any optical debris that was beginning to form. But as I mentioned, your lenses are made out of polycarbonate, which is 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. They are virtually unbreakable. These are high-impact ballistics-grade lens material, the same lens material that our soldiers wear overseas in combat zones 
to protect their eyes from shrapnel and from flying debris. Speaking of protection, these have 100% UVA and UVB protection built into the lens. We know what the sun's harm, harmful ultraviolet light can do to your skin there in Honolulu. Your eyes are eight times more sensitive, so you have permanent sunscreen for your eyes, unlike the lotions, creams, and sprays that need to be reapplied every couple hours when you're in direct exposure to the sun. Now, Zeiss gives you the most complete UV protection. It goes all the way up to 400 nanometers. You get sunglass level protection in a clear lens. Now, the Photofusion Gray also offers you 30 to 40% blue light protection. You got the DuraVision Chrome Anti-Glare, which reduces glare when driving at night, particularly driving at night in the rain. But from street lights, stop lights, computer screens, overhead fluorescent lights, and such, the, the second feature is it reduces glare. When someone's looking at you, they're not looking at their reflection in your glasses, so it makes for much better eye contact. Plus, if you take a selfie, you're less likely to see the phone in the camera, I mean, the, the phone in your lens, or if someone takes a picture with a flash, you're less likely to see that. Now, the machine that applies the anti-glare coating costs well over a million dollars. It takes over 24 hours to vaporize eight different coatings onto your lens. So because of the time and the expense, they put the industry's hardest scratch coating on there to protect your time and investment. Man, that music is nice. This is a first for me to sit back and listen to some music. Now, I have to confess, in full disclosure, I was in junior high when Rapper's Delight came out. No one had ever heard anything like it. It just it shocked everybody. And ever since then, there's just something about a syncopated beat. Man, I'll tell you what. So, tuck it in at the outside corner. Push down at the nose, it snaps right in. So let's go ahead and start cutting the left. Flip that over to L. Place the magnet into the Chuck, the Charles, the Chucky baby. Hit the green start button. Just like before, the door closes, the clamp shuts. The lens will be traced this time by the two white styluses. Make sure it's large enough to fit into the frame on the first go around. And you can see as it's tracing the shape of the left side. And then just like before, measuring the thickness of the lens to know where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing. Of which you got nothing there. Sub Z. Sub Z, you got nothing. No edge thickness because you got no prescription. And look how thick that plastic is. So anybody with a strong prescription, you want something stylish, there you go. Pop the block off. I gotta admit, this is nice. So. Let me put a dot on that lens so I can measure everything. I have cut lenses for the lead guitarist for Anthrax, heavy metal band. And uh, so now I get to do it for Zub Z. So I'm going to put it in, I'm doing what's known as final inspection. I'm going to put it in my lensometer, read the power, and I'm getting zero, plano, no power whatsoever. Now, all progressive lenses, the reason why that's underlined, it has the laser engraving there. And that tells me 1.50, tells me 150 progressive power. Now, this is the final inspection as I inspect the lenses. I am a licensed optician with over 21 years experience in the field. I have personally cut over tens of thousands of pairs of glasses for people. And of course, I realize I'm a cover band now. This is a nice band to cover, but I'm just putting lenses in other people's songs. I've started designing my own frames with Christian Eyewear and a few others, and you'll see me launching that brand in the next four to six weeks. And I'd love for everyone out there to check them out. Speaking of check out, let's move on to the next track. The Boogie Back. Let me turn that up. Got a heavy bass line in there. But I can cut any power lens that you want. Single vision, line style, bifocal, progressive. I can do it with transitions, gray, brown, green, or blue. I can do any DuraVision glare, anti-glare coating. I can do polarized lenses. I can do polarized with mirrors. 
Man, some gold lenses in here would be tough, wouldn't they? I can do the extra active lenses with the gold flash mirror. Pull that out. Dry everything off there. Tuck it in at the outside corner. Push down at the nose, it snaps right in. Pull that away. Add to my sticker collection. Come down here, do the inspection. Put it in over that black dot. Again, read the power. I'm getting zero, no power whatsoever. Your PD is 65. I'm gonna place the PD stick against my thumb. We hold it up to the left lens. We're getting 65 millimeters, so that is cut perfectly. Now I wanna measure the optical center height of 25. You know, let me turn that down just a little bit. Just a little bit. When you go to the middle of the frame, we're getting 25 millimeters. 25 millimeters, that is cut perfectly. Now this is the portion in every video that as I clean your lenses, I mentioned that there's free shipping anywhere in the US and Hawaii is that 50th state. So there's free shipping to Hawaii. But when you get these in the mail, sub Z, there is a small chance these could fit too loose or too tight. However, there's an 80% chance that one side is gonna sit higher than the other. That's because 80% of people have one ear that is higher than the other. And because of that statistic, 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them. But I'm gonna get them in standard alignment first, also known as a three-point stance. The three points are one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I set them on the counter and press down. There is no wobble. Now, when I say wobble, I'm part of that 80%. When I take mine off and I press down on the counter, they wobble on the counter, but they sit level on me. For those of you keeping score at home, I'm wearing the Versace 3245 in color, the, the blue tortoise with the platinum temples to match the my platinum wisdom highlights that are coming in over my ears. All right, let me flip that over, press down. There is no wobble. Close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly, and they do. The neither temple is askew like that. So, I send out a selfie, re package, selfie request in every package, sub Z. I would love to have two selfies. One with you indoors in the studio rocking these. Of course, turn your head just a little bit so we can pick up that kazao. And then, uh, same way it's written right here. Is that too much too over the top? Kazow. But, um, but then I want one outside with you on the beach in Hawaii showing everyone how good that looks. And uh, this is just too nice not to be put on the website. Plus, I also send out cleaning instructions, not only to care for your frame and lenses so they will last you for years, but for the premium microfiber cleaning cloth that I provide. I got Kazal right there in the middle, in the middle of the mix. But your Kazal cleaning cloth, the carrying bag, and your case, so it too will last you for years. No other seller does that on the internet, I am told. And if you ever post selfies, sub Z, I would love for you to hashtag me at freeprescriptionlenses.com or just, excuse me, free prescription lenses. Got all my social media on the on the cleaning cloth to tag me, and of course, you can find Sub Z on Instagram at Prima Phonics on Twitter. Same thing, Prima Phonics. Go check out his music. But I want to go ahead and activate these, meaning I'm exposed them to a strong burst of ultraviolet light. Now, as you can see, it takes about 30 to 45 seconds for photochromic transition lenses to darken a little bit longer when you come back inside. And this is my favorite beat coming up here. It takes about a minute to a minute 15 to return back to virtually clear. And what's the name of this one? What's the name of this one? Let me back up. Oh, yeah. Big beat. But it takes about a minute to a minute 15 to return back to virtually clear. Now, they will get dark on day one and continue to darken every day for the first couple weeks or exposed. The only time they won't work is if you're behind the windshield of a car. Your windshield absorbs the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays that would cause your dashboard to crack from sitting in the sun all day, and that's why they don't turn dark in a car. Now, if you have a convertible or a motorcycle, they will darken. Also, all photochromic transition lenses are temperature sensitive, meaning they will darken, they will get darker when it's 85 and below than they will when it's 
95 and above but I remind everyone when it's a hundred degrees outside you're miserable they're miserable nobody works a hundred percent when it's a hundred degrees outside having said that we all work a little bit better once it cools off now don't worry sub Z they will keep getting darker and darker as they're exposed come on we talked about that don't you remember so everyone out there listening, do me a favor, like this video, give me the thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you haven't already, click the bell icon so you can get future notifications of frames and, and lens combinations as they become available. Man, it's going to be hard to beat this one. This is nice. Kazal Legends is a classic. These are made in Germany. This is the most expensive and most well-made frame that I offer. Now, I am an authorized Kazal dealer. If there's a frame out there you want that's not on the website, just go to the Contact Me page of the website. Let me know which model number, size, and color you want, and I'll check on price and availability. Speaking of which, the Kazal 607 normally retails for $650. I've got all the Kazals on sale. This one is $399. I've got $250 off, so you can buy any lens you want. When you buy the frame, you almost get free transitions, free prescription, free everything when you get these. You can get a pair of non-prescription or prescription transitions extra active gray with the gold, silver, green, or blue mirror for what you would pay for just the price of the frame. And I'm going to do that for the first year I'm selling Kazal Legends. I'm just trying to get the word out and build my brand up. But the Zeiss Progressive Light D Digital Freeform Progressive Lens is $149.99. The Photo Fusion Gray that I have in here, the brown, sil the brown, green, or blue is $99.99. And the DuraVision Chrome is $69.99 for a total of $718.97 tax-free. Now the reason why I say tax-free is a lot of people on the internet are having to charge tax. I'm in North Carolina. North Carolina considers eyeglasses a medical device. There is no tax on medical devices, so I don't have to charge any. But if you were to buy these out there from anyone else for this price, which would be hard to find, they would charge you an additional $53.92 in tax. You're always going to keep that in your pocket when you buy from me. I don't have to charge tax. But Sub Z, owner, operator, of Prima Phonic Studio in Honolulu, Hawaii. Thank you so much for the purchase of the Kazal 607. The, the Kazal Legends 607. Color 65, which is the crystal. This is available in about five or six different colors. This is a legend in name and in style. Of course, you got the Zeiss Progressive Light D Digital Freeform Progressive Lens with the Photo Fusion Gray and DuraVision Glare. Dur DuraVision Chrome Anti-Glare and now hopefully everyone else has got a chance to see not only how quickly they turn back to clear but how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.